guys, welcome back to another episode of Crossing the Line. We're going to be taking a look at this massive story here. Uh, Trump and Musk did an interview together on X in one of their live spaces, and it was a resounding success. Much, uh, much to the left's dismay and the mainstream media's anger, after a massive DDoS attack on X itself seems to have uh, interrupted the service and uh, kind of delayed the in interview. It's more of a phone call than an interview. It was a bit of a, um, a bit of a phone call vibe to the entire thing. Uh, but it, it has broken the internet. It has uh, broken over about a, people are saying it's like a billion views on this. Uh, x space alone so uh you can see there on um donald trump's twitter just the 250 million views just there so uh that's people who've actually sat there and watched it and there was a three hour uh stream but it was about two hour conversation which is it's uh doctored there into a two hour five minute uh six minute uh clip but uh yeah, it was delayed by quite a while for about an hour, over an hour uh, for a DDoS attack and denial of service, if you don't know what that is. It's basically where someone on the internet uh, or a group of people on the internet force the um, server that it's on or the servers that it's on, uh, massively interrupt that service with millions and millions of uh, responses trying to get into there it's like trying to open up a door and too many people trying to fit through that doorway at once you can get people through slowly individually but when uh, millions or uh, hundreds of thousands of people try to do it at the exact same time uh, the servers can't respond shut down and have all sorts of issues now uh, it's pretty common sort of attack and I'm not surprised it happened I'm surprised they were actually able to overcome it because this is what the left fears. This is what mainstream media fears. This is what the uh, Democrats fear. They do not want the truth to get out. They do not want uh, any free thought or free speech, especially when it comes to Donald Trump and Elon Musk. I mean, I know how much they dislike uh, freedom of speech for individual people like myself and yourself as well. I mean, how many times have you been banned off of TikTok, Facebook, or, uh, you know, muted or deleted comments and have had to do things like that. It's, um, it's bad enough for everyday people like ourselves, let alone, uh, when they're doing it to two of the most powerful people on the planet, it's kind of insane to think that, um, countries and politicians are trying to stop people like elon musk and donald trump talking but uh we'll get into this first story here we've got a few lined up just to uh give you a broad perspective of what happened here in this space but i suggest you go onto x on donald trump's uh twitter feed x feed whatever it is uh it's a pinned tweet there go and check it out and give it a listen if you unsure of where Donald Trump actually stands or Elon Musk stands on a lot of issues. They do clear them up uh, without any interruptions. It kind of carries on a little bit of, uh, you know, his self-aggrandizing as Donald Trump likes to do, but I don't blame him. Um, but go and give it a listen if you've got two spare hours, whether you're going for a drive or something like that, and uh, you've got not much else to do. So give it a listen and you will get the truth from the horse's mouth, or at least the way he sees it. And um, if I was in America, I'd be voting for Donald Trump. Honestly, if uh, anyone from America is watching, I suggest it, if you're not sold on Donald Trump, maybe think about your children's future. I mean, he's definitely not the best candidate that we could possibly have, uh, but he's the only good candidate running. RFK is not too bad, but still... You know, he's a bit wishy-washy with a few things, and I think he's a bit of a, he might be a bit of a gun-grabbing nut at the end of the day, because he was a Democrat for such a long time. Now, uh, we'll get into this first story here from CNR News, uh, Scanner News. Trump Musk X space delayed by massive DDoS attack. Musk's team tested X systems with 8 million concurrent listeners earlier in the day. 
Monday, X space with Elon Musk and former President Donald Trump was delayed by nearly an hour by a distributed denial of service attack or DDoS. DDoS causes a disruption in a targeted server or network's normal traffic by flooding the target or its surrounding infrastructure with traffic. The space was scheduled to begin at 8 p.m. EST. Hosted by Trump's uh, X account, many users reported the Trump Musk space had crashed and prevented them from joining the conversation. There appears to be a massive DDoS attack on X working on shutting it down. Whether the case will proceed with smaller number of live listeners will post the conversation later. Musk posted at 8.18 p.m. Musk said his team of the system with eight uh, te- uh, his team had tested the system with eight million concurrent listeners early in the day. We'll proceed with a smaller number of concurrent listeners at eight thirty Eastern Standard uh, Eastern Time, and then then post the unedited audio immediately thereafter. A no- uh, Musk announced on a follow up post. The space began at eight forty two p.m. with the Musk announcing X's sustained a DDoS attack. The conversation is currently underway with over a million concurrent listeners. Early Monday morning, Trump returned to X with his first series of posts in nearly a year are you better off now than you were when i was president he wrote one of his first posts in nearly a year our economy is shattered our border has been erased our nation's in decline and the american dream is uh, make the american dream affordable again make america safe again make america great again he added Trump's most recent post on the full, uh, was from last summer. The former president was booked at Fulton County, Georgia, after being charged with racketeering against the mugshot po- uh, Mark Trump's first post on the platform after being banned from X, then Twitter, following January 6, 2021, attack on the U.S. Capitol. Now, we've got another story here. Uh, Trump's tells Musk's assassination attempt brought him closer to God. Now, if you've uh, been living in a hole, I don't know where you've been, but... Um, Trump was uh, standing on stage where a shooter that seemed to be let able to shoot him. I don't know how you want to say it. Uh, I believe, fully believe that he was uh, let to be there, uh, left to be there until he could complete his uh, mission or whatever it was, whoever was letting him do what he did. Um, Trump was shot in the ear, bullet just grazed him, uh, missing his head obviously at the last second it was it was kind of weird watching that live uh it's freaky honestly if i don't know if you saw the video live or you saw it just uh just after or the next day maybe but just seeing how close he came to dying and how close he came to uh possibly getting irreversible brain damage or a severe injury uh, it kind of makes you think that, like, something's going on. Like, um, I don't know what season of Earth we're on at the moment, uh, but it's really, really ramping up. I don't want to see the uh, fin- uh, the uh, end of the season later on after the election results come in. But um, if we're left on a cliffhanger, I'd say that was a cliffhanger to be left on. Um, Donald Trump narrowly missing... Uh, headshot basically he um he i don't know he's been kissed on the dick by an angel as uh one would put it but i believe uh well i don't really believe in god so much but i believe something intervened there whether it was uh destiny or um just the cruel prank on the world to say that um or, or on the universe to say that uh you know what well, kind of point us towards whether we are actually in a simulation. I don't think we are, but you know, sometimes when shit like this happens, it really makes you think whether uh, someone's playing a trick on us or I don't know what's going on. But uh, in the interview with Elon Musk on that X space, Trump tells Musk assassination attempt brought him closer to God. I'm a believer. Now I am more of a believer. Uh, now I'm more of a believer. I think former president Donald Trump said surviving last month's assassination attempt in Butler, Pennsylvania brought him closer to God. Now, if you want to listen to that and you don't want to listen to the entire two hour conversation, this is pretty much the first thing I start talking about. Uh, so if you do want to go and listen to it, uh, this is probably one of the better things I'd, if you know, it's more interesting things. If you're not into American politics so much, uh, you kind of want to know what was running through his head at the, at that time. And it gives you a bit of a, uh, human, humanitarian perspective on the situation i suppose like trump appears to be more of a human than most politicians do in that in that point especially at the start of the uh interview 
go and give that section a watch at least. Uh, it's very interesting. He seems to know a lot more about the situation than uh, we have been told. Obviously, I mean, he's going to be in the loop, being it was his secret service and uh, his assassination attempt. So I'd say he knows a few things that he's, and seemed to release a few things in that uh, interview there. But um, go and check that out, at least that first uh, first few minutes of the uh, clip there. Trump discussed the assassination attempt and repeated his praise for the Butler crowd for remaining calm throughout the event during his Monday X space with Elon Musk. Normally they'd be running. They didn't. Trump said they saw that I was hurt. They saw a lot of blood. Then they saw I went down. It was almost like they wanted me, uh, wanted to be with me. The former president noted many members of the press caught the shooting in real time. You don't have anybody flee. You don't have anybody stampede. Nobody he said, and there were some people that stood behind me. They stood up. They were looking. I I'll tell you, you want to have them on a foxhole with you. Trump said he was immediately knew that he'd been hit in the ear, adding it was a miracle that his head was facing the direction of the shooter while showing an illegal immigrant chart while he, when he opened fire. For those people that don't believe in God, we're going to all start thinking about that. Trump said, I'm a believer now. I'm a, uh, more than a believer, I think. Uh, if I hadn't turned my head, I would not be talking to you right now. Trump told Musk the former president went on to praise Butler Hospital after they initially treated. Illegal immigration saved my life, Trump joked. Later in that conversation, Musk proposed implementing a government efficiency commission in Trump's future administration to address a wasteful spending to alleviate inflation plaguing Americans. Now, that was a fantastic point of Musk. And I think, um, I mean, I know in my line of work, I would love for someone to do something like that. The government efficiency commission would be fantastic. I know if I went in there with a broom into my place of work or the people I work with, I could save taxpayers and the government and anyone really the company money just by getting rid of the fat getting rid of the waste and the amount of waste that you see in government jobs um even on a periphery working with a government job is astounding uh working in civil construction and things like that is you can see the amount of money the taxpayer money that goes to waste every single day millions upon millions of dollars and uh to the point of billions in some cases and it's disgusting they keep raising our rates they keep raising our rent uh they keep raising our taxes they keep raising every single thing in this country except for uh you know the work that they're supposed to do no no no. they don't they don't have to get better at their jobs they don't have to provide better services and uh it's the same in any government by the looks of it is happening here in australia it's happening there in america they they raise the prices of everything raises the tax but they don't have to raise their work ethic or raise their um you know raise their standard of care because they don't have any it's the same all around the world, unfortunately. And the more control government has over your life, the worse it is. Uh, it just, you if you could see the amount of corruption on a small local government scale and then scale that up the higher up the ladder you go, you'd be disgusted. You would be as annoyed and angry at the government as I am. And you'd want to tell other people about it like I am right now. Now, if you can help me along with that by sharing this video, liking and subscribing, leaving a comment down below, that'd be great. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think it'd be great just to have the Government Efficiency Commission that takes a look at these things and ensures that the taxpayer money, the taxpayer's hard-earned money is spent in a good way. It must continue before extending his offer to work with Trump's future administration. I'd be happy to help out on such a commission if it were formed. I'd love it, Trump responded. You're the greatest cutter. Trump and Musk X space was really scheduled for 8 p.m. Eastern sta uh, Standard Time, though it was delayed for nearly an hour after the Sony, the DDoS attack, the uh, platform owner said. After the space concluded, Musk said he would be happy to host Kamala on X space 2. Trump and Musk X space had garnered over just 20, uh, 25 million listeners as late Monday. Now, as you can see, um, Harris campaign has called Musk's lackey, uh, Musk a lackey for Team MAGA or MAGA. Uh, Vice President Kamala Harris called Elon Musk a lackey for Team MAGA as an email sent to voters during X Musk's, uh, Musk's X space with the former President Donald Trump. Trump and Musk's APM X space was delayed for nearly an hour after the DDoS attack during the X space Harris campaign emailed supporters 
warning of the danger of Trump and Musk's hateful conversation posed. Now, if they're that terrified of Musk and Trump speaking, if they're that terrified of anyone speaking, that they're going to send out mass emails. I mean, the UK, uh, the EU, uh, sorry, has um, sent out a letter warning them not to basically have this conversation under some sort of threat. But we'll get into that later. I mean, if the UK thinks that they can threaten American citizens, including the, the richest man in the world, as far as we know, and the ex-president, maybe the next president, Hopefully, uh, if they if they can just send a letter and threaten them, uh, telling them to shut up and not talk and uh, screw your freedom of speech, what do they do to people like you and me? I think we know what they do to people like you and me. In the UK, they are, you go look at my previous story, they're locking them up for posting Facebook posts that they don't agree with or talking about the ongoing riots and they're trying to extradite US citizens to England to jail them which I don't see ever happening, but, you know, I mean, after the couple of years we've had, it's only ever gotten worse. The email was headlined, two worst people you know are live this evening. How is that? How is Elon Musk? Like, I get why you can hate Donald Trump. Like, I don't agree with it, but I get it. You know, like, he's very divisive. It's either you hate him or you love him. I don't think that, you know, some people are going to vote for him just because... Well, if they don't, they know they're screwed. But um, I don't see why Elon Musk has ever done to anyone besides being rich and trying to help people and help humanity, honestly. There's a lot of commies and leftist scum on the internet that seem to complain about him just because he's rich and, I don't know, he's a bit of a troll online. I mean, he does some funny shit, says some stupid things, makes some stupid posts, and it's all it's like, just like Trump, honestly, like two peas in a pod with the same thing. Like people who shouldn't be posting these things and saying these things, but they do, and people either love them or hate them for it. I just don't get the amount of hate, especially how Elon used to be the darling of the left. I mean, he's making everything electric. He's making electric cars, he's trying to save the planet, you know, all those good things, and uh, which you think would make him, a, uh, you know, a massive figurehead of the left, but uh, they hate his guts for some reason. I don't get it. But uh, even a lot of uh, right-wing people seem to hate him as well, because he doesn't seem to really conform to either party. He's got a little bit from column A, a little bit from column B, and... Um, I, I don't know, I suppose because he's not completely with them or against them or something, people hate him for it. The email then encouraged Harris supporters to donate $25 to her campaign. So she's prostituting herself on the internet, just uh, trying to make money off of um, Elon Musk and Trump's uh, live space they had. Uh, right now, Elon Musk is interviewing Donald Trump live on Twitter. Harris campaign wrote, asserting they would not pr uh, refer to the platform as X. It's not enough. Why wouldn't you call it X? Like, I don't care if you call it Twitter. Everyone still calls it Twitter. And like, I don't think Musk really cares. But, like, if you're going out of your way saying we're not going to call it X, like, you've got a bit of a bee in your bonnet over that. Like, it's a bit of a weird point to make, especially when you're running for um, president and you're the vice president and you're sitting there going, like, I'm not even going to call it X. Oh, how dare they? Uh, it's fucking weird bro it's not enough that musk has a pledge to donate millions of dollars to reflect uh help re-elect re trump he's using the purchase platform one of the largest social media sites in the world to spread trump's unhinged and hateful agenda to millions of users see now that should be liable how is anything that he said unhinged and hateful if you listen to the entire thing which i doubt any of them were going to um he didn't say anything hateful or unhinged in that I mean, he kind of went on and repeated himself several times on the same subjects or the same talking points, but nothing was unhinged. They just they just want you to think like them. If you don't think like them, then whatever it is you say is null and void, and if you don't like what they like, then they call you a Nazi and a bigot and a racist and a homophobe, and they use all those little comments and words to make you look like you're a bad person, even when you're just a normal, everyday person. 
Email has encouraged Harris supporters to donate $25 in the campaign. Otherwise, let us remind you why this is a big deal. The email continued. The richest person in the world is a lackey for Team, uh, team MAGA. Musk already ruined Twitter by allowing hate speech and disinformation to flood the platform. Now, when Musk took over, um, that place was full of hate speech, uh, if you want to call it that. I don't really care for that term. But uh, if you're on the left, you're allowed to say whatever you want. Back in the days of Twitter, uh, you're allowed to do whatever you want. You're allowed to wish harm. You're allowed to call for attacks. Or you're allowed to do pretty much anything. Even um, the worst, let's put it this way, the worst video content of children was abound everywhere on Twitter. And they just couldn't seem to figure out how to get rid of it. But uh, after Elon Musk deleted, what was it, um, 80% of the staff? He got rid of 80% of the staff or something? Look, some massive amount of the staff he got rid of. Uh, they could still get rid of all of that child exploitation material uh just makes you wonder why twitter didn't do it in the first place hmm bit weird don't you think uh flood the platform now musk is using the vast fortune and broad reach to try and control our democracy now when they say our democracy they don't mean everyone else's democracy they don't mean democracy for you they mean their version of it they mean their version of government their version of america their version of it doesn't matter what country you're in. They're all using that same term. Uh, their version of Australia, their version of the UK. President Trump has been speaking for over an hour and a million people about his winning agenda for the American people. Trump's campaign wrote in an uh, ex post along with a screenshot of the fundraising email. Kamala is big mad about this and she re refuses to speak to the media or do an interview or even explain what the platform she is running on. In conclusion, the Trump campaign and Harris fundraising email was so pathetic after their X space continued, Musk said he would be happy to host Camilla on X space too. I'll be super fair and stand corrected if she can point out where I've made arguments lacking in cognizance, Musk added. Trump's and Musk's ex base had garnered just under 20 million listeners as late Monday. Musk endorsed Trump to have a born president narrowly survived an assassination attempt during a Butler, Pennsylvania rally last month. See, now, whether it was the Democrats or it was um, some sort of evil cabal or whether it was just the lone gunman on the sloped roof uh, that attempted that assassination whether it was let to happen or whatever the case is there with the assassination um that has really put it up some people to get out there and start campaigning for trump uh elon musk being one of them possibly rfk jr as well but um we will see where that goes but the media doesn't like elon and trump making their own uh little space here it's um it's almost like they're losing their absolute mind over all of it because there's nothing they could do everything they tried they tried sending a letter the eu sends a letter saying that you better not talk to each other and you know uh converse because we're gonna what do what what are you gonna do what are you gonna do to the richest man in the world and the ex-president that soon to be the next president what are you going to do about it? Uh, then every single news source, we'll have a look here. Uh, this is just your Trump Musk interview Google search, right? Every single news source has basically the same opinion on it. And they try to, I don't know, put a, put a shadow over it. Elon Musk on an interview stated with an immediate tech disaster. It wasn't a tech disaster. It was a DDoS attack that was instigated probably by people uh, on that side of the spectrum, let's say. So Donald Trump chatted with Elon. Here's the future as they see it. Losers win incompetence rules. Okay. So then I went from The Guardian. Uh, the failed X chat with Musk. Trump let it slip. Harris is beautiful as Melania. I don't know where the hell they got that from. Uh, Trump and Musk host friendly conversation on X after a delay from technical. So that's really mild coming from CNN. I'm actually surprised. Politico, EU shots at Musk interview and misses. Router, uh, routers, routers, whatever you want to call it. Rambling Trump, Musk interview marred by tech issues. Uh, the biggest moment in Elon Trump's interview. Uh, see, that's an, I'm surprised that's as nice as it is from uh, Vox. Musk chat takeaway. Trump is panicking apparently from Time magazine. See, I don't see how he's panicking. 
Uh, Wall Street Journal, inside Elon Musk, hands-on push to win 800,000 voters for Trump. Um, more propaganda from, that's Bezos' uh, little side project there. So Elon Musk hosts friendly chat with Donald Trump on X after tech delays. BBC, oh, they're being so nice there. Uh, oh, sorry, that's page two there. Uh, the dumbest climate conversation of all time. Experts on the Musk-Trump interview. Um, nuclear warming. He's talking about nuclear... Trump talked about nuclear warming. Yeah, do you know what he was saying? He was he was worried less about climate change and warming from climate change as he was nuclear war and nuclear warming, as he called it, was warming the planet by bombing the absolute hell out of it with nukes because Biden and Harris and whoever else can't seem to keep their finger off the button and they keep pushing us towards World War Three. That's what he's talking about. If they go and take everything he says out of context every single time. No wonder there's that many stupid leftists and independents or whatever you want to call them out there saying that he's useless, he's bad, he's a nut job, he's wrong every single time, he's a liar, all that. It's because every single news media, mainstream media, takes everything he says out of context, gives, puts it in the worst possible light, and you don't listen to me. For it. Just go and listen to what he says and make up your own mind. Like, go and listen to a conversation. Go and listen to... Just go and listen to that conversation on X that they had. They, go and listen to that. If you hate his guts or whatever it is, I don't care. Go and listen to that and make up your own mind. Don't just let all these media companies and that who are all funded by the same mob tell you what to think. Donald Trump would love Elon Musk to join his future with the White House team. That's from Nine News. Trump throws social <laughs> truth social under the bus in a panicked embrace of X and Elon Musk. That's not what happened at all. Trump blames tech issues for his strange voice in the X interviews. He hails Elon Musk's strong endorsement. His strange voice, if you're uh, wondering what that is, he had a bit of a like a, a lisp kind of thing. It sounded like he might have um, honestly sucking a breath mint or something. Uh, not the whole way through, just in some parts. So he could have had some dental work done. Who knows? He could have been drunk. I, I don't think he drinks, but, you know, who gives a shit? Elon Musk claims massive DDoS attack. Uh, technical glitches hit Trump's on X during the interview. Sorry of attack, inflation, immigration, six takeaways from Trump's Musk. So Trump's live interview with Elon Musk. Here's what you can expect. Musk cozies up Trump in glitchy conversation on X platform. Bloomberg, it's always the big ones, isn't it? Uh, Townsville Bulletin, I don't know why anyone gives a shit about what anyone in town, Townsville, Townsville Bulletin, no one in Townsville can read, why are you, why do you have a bulletin, rambling Trump Musk interview marred by tech issues, uh, they like that rambling one, because it wasn't really a ramble, but he repeated a few things, that's about it, fact checks, oh, that'd be great, I'm sure the BBC would fact check all that, it's, oh, look, here we go, it's a nice, um, Musk's uh, Trump X interview, a surprisingly dull meeting of two planet-sized egos. Aren't they so unbiased there at The Guardian? Donald Trump rambles and lies repeated in an interview with Elon Musk. Um, just goes to show you they all love him so about uh, so much. Familiar vitriol and Musk and enable the key takeaways from Trump's X interview. Trump has a glowing interview with Elon Musk. Why is CNN being so nice? It's almost like they know that they have no viewer base anymore. Elon Musk suffered tech failures that's <laughs> interview. Trump returns to X after two hour chit chat <laughs> hit by a technical glitch. Uh, they really do not like him there. Now uh, we'll get into Politico story here. EU takes a shot at Musk over the Trump interview and misses. Uh, Europe's chief digital off uh, official faces fire for interfering in US elections. Brussels, the European Union's top digital enforcer, tried to take on Elon Musk. Within hours, he faced accusations of meddling in American politics, and his own staff were backpedaling hard. <laughs> Thierry Breton, who oversees the block uh, enforcement of new social media rules, sent Musk a letter posted on X that he warned the tech mogul about spreading harmful content ahead of Musk's live stream interview with Donald Trump. The tech billionaire quickly clapped back, to be honest, I really wanted to respond with this uh, Tropic Thunder Ming. Musk croaked to his almost 200 million followers on X while posting a curse-laden photo of the 2008 Hollywood blockbuster. But I would never do something so rude and irresponsible. I must have missed that tweet. I'm going to have to go 
go back and have a look. It's Europe's latest quarrel with Musk over the last clash with British politicians who accused him of inciting real-world violence during far-right riots. Now, they're not far-right riots, as we all well know. But this time, the EU's reputation of the world digital regulator is at stake. The bloc believes it is leading the charge amongst global democracies to regain control over the tech giants. Over the last five years, Breton and outspoke French politician, of course, he's French. No one likes French. If anyone should be, uh, I'm not going to go there. Ooh, French. Uh, by the time uh, the EU's reputation of the world digital regulator is at stake, the bloc believes we're ridding each other among global democracies, blah, 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 blah. As Musk's way into being f- uh, the face of the Europeans' digital regulatory push alongside the social media rules includes the efforts to oversee artificial intelligence to boost digital competition. A former chief executive, uh, executive also of the French technology and Astos of France leading telecom operator, Breton provides himself for his tech savvy and misses no opportunity to mention his 1984 best-selling sci-fi techno-thriller, uh, techno-thriller novel, Soft War, as proof. 1984. Where have I heard... Hmm, where have I heard that year before? Uh, last month, uh, French President Emmanuel Macron backed Breton to serve as another term of the European Commission. Breton has been vocal in his eagerness to hold out on his digital files. According to the three EU officials with knowledge of the matter, they were granted anonymity because they were not authorised to speak publicly. Loud, confident, and willing to use public image for political gain, Breton's comments via social media have not always gone to plan. Now, um, going after Elon Musk and uh, Donald Trump for having a conversation on the internet is probably, hands down, the dumbest thing thing you could possibly do uh it's a streisand effect you know no one look at this no one google this thing no one look at it no one listen to this thing uh bang nearly a billion billion people have listened to it or seen it uh i couldn't even log into it and watch it uh on x because there was that many people watching it and it was and the ddos attack uh I couldn't get in. So I had to watch it on YouTube with uh, another 80,000 people watching it. Yeah, 85,000 people watching it. Uh, I was on Timcast, uh, their take on it, and it was like 80,000 people watching it on there. So the amount of people that weren't watching it on just uh, X here, that's 250 million, man. 251 million views. Uh had 1.3 or nearly 1.4 people watching live, like concurrent viewers. That's insane. And it just goes to show that uh, all this chit chat, all this hatred, all these lies, all this, see, all this bullshit that they keep saying isn't working for them. And they're clasping at straws and they're struggling, and they're drowning in their own hatred and their own propaganda. That is why I think they let, or someone possibly let, uh, that kid have a crack at Donald Trump the other day, and narrowly missing his head. Luckily for us and the rest of the world, and Donald Trump himself, that he was a shit shot. But they're going to keep trying. If the governments of the world are uniting together to try to silence the running candidate or the uh, man running for office in the US, the ex-president of the United States and the world's richest man. What are they doing to everyday people? What are they doing to people like you and I? It's uh, scary to think what they get away with. It's uh, It'll be interesting to see if we ever get any numbers um, and info, like the Twitter files when they were released, uh, when Elon took over X, uh, Twitter turned it into X. Uh, if there's anything like that regarding Australian politics and their uh, overreach into our private lives and overreach into our social media and online lives, trying to get a shutdown on the internet, I wonder if there's um, anyone chasing up that end of the that end of the information. But I don't know. What do you guys think anyway? If you, uh, leave a comment. On this video, leave a uh, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, please. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.